Like web browsers, Windows 10 also stores lots of caches to make the PC responsive and perform faster. However, with time, the cache accumulates a large part of the partition and slows down the system. Therefore, it is essential to remove unnecessary cache files to free up the disk space and improve performance. This video will guide you on performing a cleanup in Windows 10 to clear all cache. Before we start this detailed guide, press the like button and subscribe to our channel in case you forget later. Clear temporary files. Now, first of all, we would clear all the temporary files from the system. For that, open the Run Command window by pressing the Windows key and R. In the blank space, type percent temp percent and hit Enter. You will reach the system's temporary files folder. Now select all the files by pressing Ctrl plus A. Then right click and choose Delete. You'll notice that some files won't delete. It is because they are currently being used. Those files can be ignored. Next, again open the Run box. This time, type just Temp and press the Enter. Click Continue on the prompt message. Here also you have to select all the files and folders. Right click on them and choose Delete from the menu. Again, some files won't delete as they might be in use. Let's thank our sponsor Malwarefox for this video. Malwarefox gets rid of hidden malware from your computer. It is a simple yet effective anti-malware software providing protection against adware, spyware, ransomware, keyloggers, and all modern cyber threats. Check the description below to download for free. Clear Prefetch Prefetch is another temporary collection that keeps open your most frequently used application by reducing the loading time. Though it is useful, you can remove that too to free up space. Go back to the Run Command box and type Prefetch. Hit the Enter key, then click Continue on the prompt message to open the Prefetch folder. Now, similar to the Temporary folder, you have to select all the files by pressing Ctrl plus A keys. Then right-click on the selected files and choose Delete. Using Disk Cleanup now we are going to use the Windows 10 built-in cleanup manager to clear the clutter. For that, type Disk Cleanup on the Windows search box. Click on its icon to launch it. Now from the drop-down menu, select the drive that you want to clean. Here we are choosing the System Drive C. Click OK. Now on the newly opened box, you have to click on Clean Up System Files. Here we are choosing the System Drive C. In the next box, you have to select all the things you want to delete. You will have the option to remove many pieces of stuff such as Windows Upgrade log files, previous Windows installations, temporary internet files, and much more. After selecting the files, click OK in the end to start the cleanup process. Reset Microsoft Store Now, another thing we can do to clear the cache is to reset the Microsoft Store. For that, you again have to launch the Run Command box. This time, you have to type wsreset.exe and then hit the Enter key. That's it. A black screen will open that will reset the Microsoft Store. Be patient and let it do its work. Delete the software distribution downloads. Next, to clear the cache, you can delete the downloads of the software distribution. For that, you have to first launch the File Explorer. On the desktop, double-click on this PC. Open your system drive. Next, double-click on the Windows folder. Search for the Software Distribution folder and open it. Inside it, launch the Download folder. This folder contains the Windows Update data, which is of no use. Even if it is necessary, Windows can download it again, so you can delete it without any hesitation. Select all files and folders, then right-click on them and choose the Delete option to get rid of it. Delete Location History In the next stage, we will clear the location history from the system. For that, open the Windows Settings. Next, select Privacy. In the following window, from the left pane, click on Location. On the right side, scroll down and you will see the option to clear the location history. 
Click on it to finish the task. Clear DNS cache. Next, what we would do is clear the DNS cache. For that, you need to open the command prompt with administrative rights. On the Windows search bar, search for the command prompt. Then right-click on its icon and select Run as Administrator. In the command prompt box, type the command ipconfig forward slash flush DNS and hit the Enter key. That's it. The DNS cache will be cleared. Clear System Restore Point Windows 10 automatically creates the restore point, which helps to recover from a system failure. However, many restore points are of no use and unnecessarily acquire the hard drive space. To get rid of them, type a Create a Restore Point in the Windows search box, then click on its icon to open it. Now you have to click on the Configure option. As you can see currently, Restore Point is occupying around 7 GB of hard disk space, which is too much. Click on Delete to clear all the restore points. To safeguard your system, it is essential to create at least one restore point. For that, go to the main window of the restore point. Click on Create. Name it as per your choice, then click Create. A new system restore point will be made. Now again, click on Configure. As you can see, the new restore point size is considerably small compared to the one we deleted previously. Clear browser data. Browsers also accumulate a vast amount of data for providing the best experience. However, some of this data can be cleared for freeing up the Windows 10 system. For that, open your browser. Here we are using Google Chrome. You can look for the similar option on your browser. On Google Chrome, Press Ctrl plus H to open the History page. On the left side of the page, click on Clear Browsing Data. A box would be open. Choose the time range and tick the data that you want to remove. Lastly, click on the Clear Data to delete the browsing data. So that's how you clear the caches from your Windows 10 system. That's it for this video. If you face any problem, comment down below and we will try to come up with a solution. Like this video and subscribe to our channel. Press the bell button to receive alerts for videos on Windows 10 tips and tricks.